so hello everyone welcome to my channel the black thread in this video we are gonna learn about attaching new disk to linux instances and mounted the, to the specific folder or directory in azure portal so the problem is why we need a new volumes in our instances so the first thing is we have limited disks and we are seeking for the new volumes to attach and to add the storage and the second thing is we have to add new storage without harming the previous disks and without data loss and the third thing is we want to add new services to the attached volume so if the data is stored in the different volumes none of the volumes interact with each other and our data will be secured so what are the scenarios by which we can do so so the first thing is we need to add a new volume and the second thing is we need to partition it partitioning and the third thing is we need to mount it to the specific folder or directory so these are the three scenarios so let's go to the console page where we have to do these changes here as you can see there are four virtual machines and we just want to add new volumes in the in this virtual machine the second one just click on it and as you can see here it is linux red hand operating system so just go to disk and uh, here you can see create and attach a new disk just click on it and then disk name should be uh, disk name should be mnt mount and then we can add according to our requirement i'm adding premium ssd pairs for production and the size is of 10 gb and rest things are just change the host caching as well read or write okay that's great and save the volume it might take some time yeah it's created and virtual machine is updating here you can see in the notification panel yeah so by clicking on over your tab you can see the attached volume from desk here so our disk is attached now we need to partition it after adding the new volume into the instance log into the instance to partition the uh, disk and uh, to mount as well so i am using mobile extreme to log in you can use uh, public like command and terminal as well if your server is on public so just click on new session and then ssh then here we, you need to add the source ip sorry remote ip so the ip of my server is 20.115.1.1 and the specified username is azure user just click on ok and you will be prompt for password yep we successfully logged in and here we need to mount 
first of all we need to check the text is attached or not so by you by doing so first go to the root and then type df hyphen l so our okay st1 st1 okay type ls blk to see the disk yep here it is you can see here the volume is attached here but we need to partition it and then mount here you can see the name of the disk is sdc so by doing so first we need to see the configuration of this disk so by type f disk hyphen l so here are the previous configurations so mine is where where yeah here here you can see 10 db 10 10 zib storage and uh, that is on dev slash sdc location so what we have to do is just locate the disk f disk slash dev slash stc then enter here it is the part we are in the partition options so click on m for help and here you can see there are many options and uh, uh, to use these options we can partition the disk here we i have to i have to use n for adding a new partition so i clicked n then i just wanted to add a primary disk for p and then the disk should be default by one enter by default and then enter by default yep you can see I created a new partition the partition has been successfully created so pressing W for saving the things yep you can see here syncing the disk and the disk is partitioned Parted, party set successfully. Yep. Now again, F disk hyphen L. Yeah, here it is. We have successfully completed the second task. Here you can see. Now type L L Here we need to mount this on M N T. So type mount hyphen T. Yep, we have successfully mounted the partition table. So again, df hyphen h. You can say here mount has been successfully 
done and the location of the disk is dev slash htc so thank you guys watching this video i hope you will learn and please subscribe and comment if you have any doubt and you can also reach out to me by twitter thank you